Kata, how is a stud finder gonna help with this? Beep, beep, beep. Looks like I found a stud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know we have our differences, but stuff like that, it, it, man, it's just, I just, it's, it's fun. Enough, Peter. I'm calling a handyman. Fine. What's in here, anyway? Bizarro Peter? Bizarro Peter. It's just that I'm reading. Needs quagmire. Just like an Asian man needs facial hair to be taken seriously. I'm sorry, we're out of orange chicken. I don't believe you. He's right. We ran out two hours ago. You, I believe. All right, let's get this stuff. Hey, kids, we're gonna start practice as soon as I get that guy out of here. I'm 60 yards away! <sighs> All right, I, I guess if a loose ball goes over there, just don't go. Hey, Meg, come here. Uh, Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser-Busch billboard next to the children's hospital? Well, watch this. Oh, God. Oh, my God, this is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good Lord, save them. Bless their li Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Here we go. All right, everything worked out. Listen, Tiffany, you seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something, because, well, if I don't, there's two guys who are going to tell you anyway. I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. And the truth is, I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and, like, super sudden, but... Will you... You're gonna die alone, you dick! Oh, I've been dying to get back on television ever since I stopped hosting Family Feud! How are you, Betsy? Welcome to the show. You are a lovely young woman. And let me just get my hand up there and feel that one. And that one. And we're looking for something you shop for at the mall. Three seconds. I wonder what happened to Cindy. <coughs> Dear Diary, Jackpot. I lost my job. I lost my house. My wife left me for a bigger cock. You get five minutes to say goodbye to your father. Sup, Bernie? Holy moly, that's a huge cock. Oh, man, this toothpick is the best. I'm not going anywhere without it. Like Batman and his futility belt. I can't get these locks open. Don't you have something in your belt? Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, a post-it with some hair stuck to the edge, something that might be a roll aid. I don't know, it's just loose. Hurry, it's getting closer! I have some stamps. Oh, you know what? It's a cert. Now, Meg, in order to get you into fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey there. Hey, nice spot, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great, especially because of that thing over there. You know what's in there? Corn. Really? Wow, I could go for some corn. <laughs> You're dark, Raj. I don't care. <laughs> Okay, you're good to go. Guys, I know this has been a long voyage. Half of us have died of starvation. We all saw Billy rot out from the stomach. We saw Roger's face get eaten by a seagull. And who could forget when Dave's bum sealed shut until he filled with poo and died. But it's all gonna be worth it. Trust me, because the spices here are amazing. Don't be so hard on yourself, Peter. Your life's not over yet. Come on, it's not like I can go back to school at my age. I'll never be a doctor. The best I could hope for is a male nurse who's probably killing all his patients. Well, I'm going home. Griffin, you have another eight hours on your shift. Now, what about your patients? They all died with dignity, God bless them. Oh, that was awkward. Like a stranger trying to make conversation. Long line, huh? There's two of us. Reminds me of that Steinfeld episode, No Sauce for You, <laughs> right? You missed both of them. I can't believe that show's still on. It's not. I really like that Julia Richard Dreyfus, though. Ugh. Mr. Sanders, thank you for waiting. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. Oh, now I feel bad. Humpty, your sock is drooping. You should totally pull it up. Really? I, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. Just lean a little further and get it. <laughs> You think you can bang Leslie and I'm not going to do anything about it? Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. 
You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Are you also married? We'll go celebrate at the clam. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think we could all use a drink. Tell you what, let me call Horace and tell him to get our table ready. Hey, now, did you just... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This group needs quagmire. Just like an Asian man needs facial hair to be taken seriously. I'm sorry, we're out of orange chicken. I don't believe you. He's right. We ran out two hours ago. You, I believe. All right, let's get this stuff out fast. Still has the chalk outline from where my Uncle Leonard got killed by his third wife. She poured boiling grits on his privates and then shot him. You sleep on that? Well, I flipped it over. I love Peter. I'd follow him anywhere. Except onto an elevator. He fat, man. Oh, Lois, I'm so glad you're here. I really need to pee. Go ahead. I'll handle the kids. No, you need to come with me. The toilets are all like one foot off the ground, so I need to hold on to your arm while I lower myself down. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Done with you. Now go take the bus home with the rest of the poor people. The bus? Ah, I was aiming for the church. God angry now! Ay, 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 ay! Chris Griffin, we'll start with your candidate statement. <laughs> Come on, Stewie! Forget it! <laughs> ah! Damn it, that's enough! You've treated me horribly! What's our position on extended library hours? The library can suck my dick! That was good! What else you got?